So you guys want to know if doing DTF with a DTG machine is a step backwards. Well, you guys got questions and I've got answers. You guys are watching Ash Stand and Man. How you guys doing? My name is Stan Banks from T-Shirt Side Hustle and I help you start T-Shirt businesses from home. Where are we at? And in this video, we're going to jump into DTF with a DTG machine right after the intro. <laughs> To it, but before we do, you guys know what I need you to do for me. I need you to like this video, I need you to comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff because I make videos like this all the time, and yes, I mean all the time. So, there's this preconceived notion uh, that first and foremost, I kind of like dislike DTF or whatever the case is because some of the past videos or whatever the case is on my viewpoints on it. And again, these are just my viewpoints. If you like DTF and you have a printer or you're planning on getting a printer, by all means, do your thing. I don't care. As long as you're making money, I think that's the best thing that could ever happen. So that's all that matters to me and what my whole channel is about. What method you use based on my views or somebody else's views, I really don't care. Like I said, as long as you're making money. So I put the video out with Victor from Omniprint. Uh, and going over how to do DTF with their machine. Now, in that video, I said, this is the best feeling DTF print that I felt thus far. And I stand on that. I firmly believe that that thing felt so smooth and it did not feel like paper uh, that it literally is the best print that I felt of the DTF side. Uh, I got the wise chest results coming for that, for that, uh, for that press or that shirt. Um, and basically, you know, that's how I feel about it. So in that video, somebody commented uh, and they basically just asked, let me pull it up here. I know you guys don't like me doing this while I'm driving, but I'm doing it now. It just says, isn't this a step backwards? And I said, nope, uh, additional tool for the tool belt, okay? Now, I'm gonna say this again, and I'm, I'm gonna reiterate this. Every last print method that you have access to, whether that's physical equipment, whether that's outsourcing, whether that's ordering transfers, is a tool for your tool belt, right? A handyman does not go into a house with just a hammer. Doesn't go in with just a screwdriver. He goes in with a tool belt. So you got all of these tools to use, and this is a tool for a DTG printer. Now, most people think about like, okay, cool, you're printing DTG, you're gonna sell DTF transfers from your DTG machine. Well, that is a possible avenue. And if somebody walked in and my machine was sitting there and was doing nothing and they wanted to buy a print from me, I would sell it. Why not? Because I need to make money, right? Because that's the most important thing that I'm making money. But what you're not thinking about is the fact that the real reason that this is a game changer for DTG printers is because things like neck labels and sleeve prints and just some of the things that they found hard to decorate now become easy because they can just use a transfer. Okay, so think about that. Being able to do more with the same machine, right? So being able to do more with that machine. Let me print out, you know, I got a clothing brand. They're coming to get uh, 50 DTG shirts. Doing a neck label is like flipping the shirt inside out, still loading it on a platen, whether you got a smaller one or a big one, whatever the case is, still loading it just to print this small little square. You still got a pre-treat if it's a colored shirt, right? I'm assuming, I don't know, I haven't seen really too much, I haven't done any of that like it was on a DTG machine, but being able to take a sheet, sit it on there, and gang up, let's say, 20 tags on two sheets, on basically on three sheets, you'll get 60 neck labels that you can print into the, you can print, then press onto the, each of those individual shirts, and not have to, and you'll, you'll, your time will speed up, because you're only curing three sheets, versus having to print 50 shirts inside out with a neck label. So that's one use. Same thing, arm print. Arm prints have kind of been one of those things you got to get like a special platen and it takes time. But if you can gang those up and print them right to the sleeve, you're good to go. 
So these are the things that you guys got to understand is like, you know, for some odd reason, everything is one print method over this print method over that print method, right? Now, I have my views on all different print methods. It's things I like and I dislike about all different print methods, literally. But based on the output, the intended use of what it is that I'm doing, I'm gonna use what's best for me. That's what's cost effective, that's what's time effective, that's what's output effective, right? So if I don't have any full color print method, I'm gonna go with X, Y, and Z. If, I, if my design is one color, two colors, I'm gonna go with X, Y, and Z. If I need to come in at a certain price point, I'm gonna go with X, Y, and Z. If I need uh, to, to deliver on a fast time schedule, I'm gonna go with X, Y, and Z. If, what the world is he doing? My bad, I don't know what this dude in front of me is doing. He's swerving back and forth. If, I had one more for you guys. Um, if I needed to come in at a certain price, I'm gonna, I don't know if I said that, but if I if I didn't, if I did, I'm sorry, but he made me lose my mind, just like swerving back and forth on the highway like he a cop. <laughs> but anyway, if I need to come in at a certain price, I'm gonna use X, Y, and Z. So you need to just figure out what's in your tool belt, what you have access to. If I need to have a certain quality of output, what's gonna give me that quality or whatever the case is. So these are the things, or these are the things rather, that I want you guys to think about and I want you to understand that ultimately it's about getting more with less. Like max out the equipment that you currently have. Stop looking for the machines that you, which machine should I buy next? Stan, or what machine should I buy next? Rich, or what machine should I buy next? Brando, because ultimately let your customer base dictate, let your output, let the end result of what you're looking for dictate which piece of machinery you get. And then you figure out how if you can afford that machine or not. Or what's the next best option for what for me, my budget and everything else like that. Instead of trying to find out what I, what machine should I get, start to understand what you're trying to make. You know, I get a lot of questions about a lot of different print methods and they all can make money. There's a there's a person who's selling a screen print setup uh, and there's a person who's thriving and, and growing. There's a person who's selling the DCG machine and there's a person who's thriving and growing. There's a person who's selling a, a heat press and there's a person who's thriving and growing. But we need to understand that we gotta use all of the things that we individually have access to in order to make our business successful. And you gotta figure out what means the most to you. Does your time mean the most to you? Do you does the money or, or the, the profit all mean more to you? that the time doesn't matter, which I've been in both of those situations where, you know, hey man, I need all of this money right now, so I'm gonna take however much time it make, takes to keep all of that money in my pocket because I need all of this money right now. On the other hand, I'd much rather get done a lot faster these days and get back to doing some other things that I wanna do, uh, and neither one of them is wrong. It's all gonna come down to what you care about as a person, okay? So if you take anything away from this video, man, take away that you have tools in your tool belt. You use what's best for the job. So down in the uh, comments below, let me know what tools you have in your tool belt. And I hope you guys found this video useful. This has been your boy, Stan Banks from T-Shirt Side Hustle. Peace.